cars are not selling at the auctions. A total demonstration that dealers are quietly admitting that the market is collapsing and used car prices are hitting the basement, especially trucks and SUVs. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Right now, folks, the number of no-sale vehicles at dealer auto auctions is at an all-time high of 45% of the cars that come to auction. That's just staggering. That's a lot. Dealers are overwhelmingly bidding for less than the asking price or reserve the car was put in the auction with. The vehicles in the auction are commonly customer trades. There's an old saying in the car business about a falling market that your first loss is your best loss. Dealers are going to take some hits, so they may as well get it out of the way. The smart dealers do. If they wait, the losses are going to be huge. You don't want to be the sucker that pays for the overpriced car right now. What's funny about this is that the bigger the dealer is, the more likely they are to be stubborn and ultimately suffer bigger losses later. Think of it as a cleansing process and leveling of the playing field. Big dealers, by their own arrogance, get hit harder than the little guys. There's a lesson to be learned here, folks. Particularly in a falling market, the smaller dealers tend to be more responsive and are likely to have their prices adjusted down much faster. Sure. In general, when it comes to dealer auctions, there are basic things to know. The dealer doesn't actually have to be there. They can do it online. Every car starts with a listing price, and if a dealer is interested in a particular vehicle, they can place their bid after inspection. Once the car hits the floor, bidding starts. Almost every vehicle will have multiple bidders, so a bidding dealer must be prepared for the starting price to increase. To avoid overspending, many dealers set what's known as a maximum bid. Those maximum bids have been frequently lower than the reserve the selling dealer has put on the vehicle. Some of you really enjoy watching the auction process. When the auction bidding doesn't meet the reserve, and there's a big gap between the bid amount and the amount of the reserve, the auctioneer simply records it as a no sale. That's what's happening with 45% of the cars in the auction, causing an overflowing problem of unsold cars in the lot. To further demonstrate that we do approve of YouTube creator competition when the competing channel is not run by clickbait artists who publish sensationalized content for clicks, we want to mention that there's a relatively new channel on YouTube that you guys should see. It's called Car Questions Answered, run by a honest used car dealer. We love him, and you should check him out. He has great content for those of you who enjoy watching the auto auctions. We'd love to give you his name, but unfortunately, he doesn't introduce himself on his videos, and it's not in his about description either on the channel. If you're watching today, sir, I recommend you add a personal introduction to your videos in the future. We'll give you a shout out again. We've checked him out, folks. His content is totally credible, and he is a legit operator. He's doing all of us a favor of providing a behind-the-scenes look at a dealer-only auto auction where you can see for yourself what dealers are paying for cars. I'm honored that our efforts on YouTube have managed to pull honest players like this gentleman out of the woodwork to come to the community and help consumers. I'd recommend that you reward his hard work by subscribing to his channel and let him know that the homework guy sent you. He's an honest used car dealer who has this description on his YouTube about page. He says, I want to share with you the ins and outs of the used car market from the perspective of a used car dealer. I am here to answer your questions on dealing with the used car industry, whether it be repairing your vehicle, which is really advised, or buying or selling a car. I also discuss what it's like to be a used car dealer and buying cars at vehicle auctions. My goal is to help you not get taken advantage of and to save you some money. Yeah, great. I agree. I like him enough to say I'd totally buy a used car from this guy in a heartbeat. And furthermore, I'd go there without feeling like I had to use my typical hard-nosed style and be armed for the bear. That's awesome. And I'm glad you mentioned that, Liz. For the benefit of our viewing audience, that's actually part of my litmus test for other creators on YouTube. The question is, would I send my family and friends to them if they were selling cars right now? The answer for some, like a certain father-son combo, is right in line with how my first sergeant responded to an incident in basic combat training when he said, Oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Soldiers had great fun echoing that afterwards, and it applies to Pop and Son. I'd never visit them if they were selling cars themselves, and neither would most of you. The bottom line is that the reason dealers are not buying cars coming through the auction is that the seller, another dealer, has way too much money stuck in the car and doesn't want to suffer the huge financial loss. The potential buying dealer isn't willing to match their reserve amount in the plummeting car market. That's everything you need to know, car buyers. That's right. <clears throat> Why do dealers have so much money tied up in their cars in the first place? Many of them bought vehicles months ago and paid way too much for them, and the market has already dropped more than 22%. 
the dealers holding on to this overpriced inventory are going to get their bank accounts cleaned out in this falling market. In other good news for car buyers, the deals on lower priced cars are finally coming back. As our viewer Quiet Knowles noticed and reported, I just checked my local used car market on CarGurus and damn, the 8,000 half-assed decent car is back. <laughs> Tons of 8,000 cars with no reported accidents and one owner. That's really surprising as up until now, just those two items demanded 4,000 more. Literally, these are current listings that are showing prices recently dropped by $1,500 to $4,000. Exciting times. Glad I waited with your advice. I'll be ready to go shark out a deal soon. <laughs> you see, folks, many of you have hung in there waiting for us to tell you it was time to go. And for this viewer, patience has really paid off. Very smart. Liz has been booking out most of the car requests that we're getting from viewers right now. So I'd like to give Liz the opportunity to share a recent phenomena she is seeing in retail dealer pricing. Liz? It's less than 10% of the car deals I'm booking out that I'm seeing this, but outstanding car deals are to be had by the persistent and patient car buyer. Take this 2021 Subaru Forester, for example, a great little ride, 14,400 miles on it, so it's very low. The dealer has it listed at 28,487. Now let's take a look at the Black Book retail numbers. A vehicle like this was selling at extra clean retail at the height of the used car market. That number is 36,550. Wow. But this dealer now has his vehicle listed below the rough retail of $30,000. 28,487 is a 22% price drop, a difference of $8,063. This is far from being the only great deal out there, folks. Don't get impatient and don't take any crap from dealers. There are thousands of dollars in savings on the line. Wow, $8,000 price drop. What's also interesting is that the two famous, or should we now say infamous, online dealers, Carvana and CarMax, with overpriced inventory, are also having difficulty selling their cars. Their stock has been tanking, and there's tons of speculation about possible bankruptcies. Mm -hmm. They bought their inventory way too high, paid some of you guys who sold your cars to them way too much money, and subsequently, they are slow to bring their retail prices down, and consumers are just saying, no thanks. Remember what Liz said about the big dealers being slower to move on prices? Carvana and CarMax are admittedly big, and they are set to take some huge haircuts very soon <laughs> on their cars. In other news, Carvana is deeply troubled. First things first, Carvana hasn't declared bankruptcy. The Amazon of used cars might do so, but it might not. But what triggered the initial rounds of warnings wasn't an actual bankruptcy. It was rather news that the company's biggest creditors had signed a big deal that binds them to act together during negotiations over restructuring Carvana's debt. The banks that have lent Carvana money clearly believe the company cannot pay them all back what it owes. A few analysts believe Carvana can manage to restructure its debt and survive. Others think its business model is fundamentally too expensive to profit in a normalizing used car market. Carvana did adopt a poison pill to limit shareholders from raising their stakes, and they've reached an agreement to sell up to $4 billion of auto loans. The struggling used car retailer reported last Tuesday, the company's shares gained 6.5% to 7.47 in afternoon trade. Ally Bank and Ally Financial will buy the loans, the company said, giving Carvana a fresh source of funding as it tries to restructure its operations. Carvana said the poison pill will help safeguard its significant U.S. federal net operating loss that could be available to offset its future taxable income. They aren't taking any chances on shareholders rocking the boat. Over at CarMax, things aren't much rosier and sluggish sales on overpriced inventory hasn't helped them out much. Used car retailer CarMax Inc. said last Thursday it was pausing some hiring, halting share buybacks, and cutting expenses after reporting an 86% drop in third quarter profit as the industry struggles to offload inventory amid waning demand. The company's shares fell as much as 12% to $52.10 and were at more than a two and a half year low, dragging other auto retailers down with it. The used car industry, which basically minted money during the pandemic, is now struggling to sell cars at or above the prices it bought them as consistent rate hikes and very high inflation take a toll on demand. With used car prices dropping, what does it mean for car buyers? It means that you should be giving the market enough time to implode on itself. Anyone watching this video and wondering how to determine the fair market value of any vehicle in this crazy car market needs to go back and watch our video covering this subject. It's titled, Determine Fair Market Price on Any Used Car with KBB Cash Offer and CarMax Profit Numbers. That's totally on the money, you guys. And if you're out car shopping in this market, do yourself a favor and check out our playlist titled, THG's Savvy Car Buyer's Homework Cram Session. I put that together for you. Go use it. It prepares you mentally to do battle with unscrupulous dealers. 
Aren't you just blown away by how good our content is? The bottom line is every time you click on one of our videos right now on the Homework Guy channel, it's like getting a pocket full of free money. Yes. If you'd like to show some gratitude to us for our quality car market updates and accurate car buying advice videos like this one, the links for tips appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Our tip system was suggested to us by you, our viewing audience. Generous people ask for a way to donate to support our mission. Voluntary tips are awesome because they provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. And apparently, several of you love us just as we love you. And we often convert your generosity into more free services for our viewers. Just check out our website. If a tip isn't an option for you, no problem at all. Just show us your thanks by subscribing and recommending our videos to your friends and family. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. Any viewer has contacted us will tell you you don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a paid car club membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be in touch with you. Also, if you're on Facebook, drop by and give us a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. It's a great place to get started. It's loaded with so many free resources for you car buyers right now. It's mind-blowing. We have never been a better service to car buyers than we are right now. We have truly raised the bar. And rightfully so, our following of subscribers is growing faster than anyone's right now. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We thank you for subscribing and welcome you to our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we're batting a thousand on earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.